Hey everybody, it's Craig Villain here. It is uh, approximately noon on a Tuesday. Uh, I am on the street, literally. So if you hear noises going by, it is cars. It is helicopters flying overboard. It is uh, the meter maid uh, driving down the street. Anyway, uh, listen, today I want to talk a little bit about customer appreciation and treating your members, customers, clients, patients, however refer to them, uh, treating them with love and respect in like family. The um, reason I share this particular topic is tonight I am hosting a EMP reunion dinner with some of my core members from the group. Now, if you're not familiar with EMP, it's a monthly event that I hold, that I held for almost 12 years uh, in Pasadena. It was for entrepreneurs, business owners, professionals, uh, salespeople in the Los Angeles area it started out as Glazer Kennedy Insider Circle local chapter, turned into EMP, and um, um, now we're starting over again. I'm just back from Vegas, um, and it's time to get this thing rolling again. Number one, because people have been asking for it for a long time for me to bring it back. Uh, number two is it's what I love to do. It's you know the main focus of the group is to help entrepreneurs be more successful. You know, uh, my friend Paul Little, who's the CEO of the chamber said when he got elected, uh, uh president of the, of the chamber was, uh, he wanted to help more businesses stay in business in Pasadena. That is kind of what my goal is. My goal is to help more businesses succeed massively in business. And sometimes it's just this much off. Sometimes it's, you know, way off. I have used the metaphor of, Imagine you're trying to get from LA to San Francisco, but you take the car and you drive up the PCH. It's going to take you about almost 10 hours to get there, depending on traffic and weather. Um, or you could take the 101, that might take seven hours. Take the five, that might take five hours. Or you could take a plane from Burbank Airport or LAX, and that will take you an hour. I'm the plane. I'm the, I'm the airport trying to get you to San Francisco in the fastest time possible. Your goal. Loud cars going by, I apologize. But the point is, uh, the group has got core members, you know, that are uh, eager to get going and get feedback and, and start enhancing their lives, and get, reconnect with me and reconnect with each other. And, you know, it's, it's a community of sorts. It's kind of like a family. So we're getting together to kind of reminisce. And, uh, you know, one of my, my reasons for it is to re just bond again with these great people. Uh, we have people who are attending tonight who have been with me since my third meeting back in January 2008, and uh, they're successful. They're very successful. Uh, we have people who have been for five years, seven years, 10 years, 12 years, uh, and they're in advanced areas of success in their life. You know, it just depends where they, what business they're in, but they have some levels of success. And then there's people who just like to belong. You know, uh, my uh, teacher and mentor, Bill Glazer, uh, said people belong to these groups for one of one or more of three reasons. Number one, they need help, so they're there to actually get help. Number two, they want to belong. They want to be around other people like them, who think like them, who uh, have ambition like them. And number three, they want to show off. Here's what I've done. Here's what I'm doing right now. And one of those reasons for doing that is because they don't get a lot of recognition in their life. In fact, Bill Glazer said the successful entrepreneur is one of the loneliest people on earth because nobody really understands us except for other entrepreneurs. So this group, again, uh, and the reason that I'm bringing back together tonight is to reconnect. And let's start this core, uh, core group and get it going again on a monthly basis so that we can, uh, so we can help each other be successful uh, and, and just support one of each other in our personal lives and our business lives. You know? So what do you do? to connect with your customers, with your patients, your uh, clients. What do you do on a regular basis? You know, one of those things uh, that was taught to me by Dan Kennedy was, was have social events. You know, have a bowling night, have a customer appreciation night, have a picnic, uh, have a barbecue. Do things on occasion that bring everybody together so it's not just business oriented. It's showing your appreciation in this bonding in this community. Because what happens is, strangely enough, people feel like they're part of a family. And very rarely are people just going to leave for another brand or another custom, another uh, product uh, because a price is lower or because someone can sell them if they belong to a family. So what can you do? What kind of events, what kind of 
uh, things can you do for your customers, members, patients, etc., to make them feel like family. Uh, there are several ways to do that, but you know, one way we did it, it, it didn't, it was good for a while, but we did something called Drink and Grow Rich, and it was, uh, you know, let's get together and socialize over a beer, over a couple beers, and it worked well for a while until uh, we had one drunken fool drinking other people's beers and then get obnoxious at the end of the evening and is no longer welcome anymore. Um, but that's what happens when you involve alcohol in it. So you got to be careful of those things. But it worked. You know, people looked forward to it. It was uh, separate from our main events every month. Uh, people came out and looked forward to it, having a beer, uh, relaxing after a hard day work. But we also got to, like, talk to each other one-on-one -on -one and ask each other what's going on in your life, what's going on in your business, how can I help, you know, that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a powerful concept. So if you, you know, however way you do it, show your customers appreciation. I'm uh, doing it tonight by bringing them all together, my core members, there's about 16 of them meeting for dinner. I'm gonna tell them how much I love them. I'm gonna ask them to tell me how much they love me. Um, we're gonna do a little exercise, a little business building, uh, thought provoking exercise. I'm gonna ask them what they think about the organization as it was and what we can do to improve upon it. You know, I mean, that's how you involve in your, your customers, your members, your patients, clients, is treat them like they're family and they'll never leave you. You know, when they do leave you, they feel horrible about it. Uh, and if they leave you, it's not because they want to, it's because some other factor has come into life. But at least it won't be because someone else better came along, better than you. The only time that's gonna happen is when you're not treating them like family, when you're not treating them with love and respect. Uh, that's it for now. I just wanna, uh, you know, ask you that question. What are you doing to treat your customers, clients, members, patients, like dear and valued friends, like family, uh, so that they don't wanna leave? You know, so that they look forward to seeing you. So they look forward to telling you what's going on in their lives and them feeling special. And thus that makes you feel special because you're making an impact. So 